All right, all right, all right. It's Brian Farrell, and I'm back again. And today we're going to show you how we're going to actually install the Temple Wallet, which will use the Tezos blockchain. And then after the wallet's installed, I'm going to show you my way to actually fund that wallet for free without spending any money out of your pocket and the quickest way possible to get Tezos into the new Temple Wallet. But before we get into those steps, first I gotta let you know that I'm not your financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Everything you do in life online and offline is a risk. Do your own due diligence and accept your own risk for your own actions. Seek financial advice from a professional regarding your own financial situation. And most importantly, never spend money you cannot afford to lose. All right, cool. So the Temple Wallet runs on the Tezos blockchain as a browser extension. Uh, now this will not currently work on your smartphone, so this is going to be something you want to be putting on your computer as a browser extension. There's several browsers that can use the Temple Wallet, and I'm going to show you really quick how to get started with that in this quick tutorial video right here. In this video, we'll show you how to get started with Temple Wallet. Temple Wallet is a web extension, which allows you to manage your Tezos private keys via your web browser. By doing so, it serves as a wallet for Tezos and FA 1.2 or FA 2 tokens and allows you to visit the distributed web of tomorrow in your browser today. To be more specific, it allows you to run Tezos dApps and DeFi right in your browser. Our mission is to make Tezos as easy to use for as many people as possible. Temple Wallet is available for Chrome and Firefox as well as Brave. In this video, we will use the Chrome browser. We need to go to the Chrome store, select the Temple Wallet, and click Add to Chrome. After installing the Temple Wallet extension, you will get to the start page where you can import wallet or create a new one. At this point, you should make sure that your internet connection is secure and there are no phishing apps in your device. We don't recommend you to use public networks and devices that do not belong to you. If you already have a Tezos wallet, you can import your seed phrase into the Temple wallet and access your assets. In other videos on this channel, we will tell you how to import a wallet from Kukai, Magma, Tezbox, Cryptomics, and so on. If you are a new user, then you can create a completely new wallet. You just need to click Create a new wallet. After that, you will need to create a password. It will be required to enter the wallet. Please keep it in a safe place, but better remember it. Then the Temple Wallet generates your seed phrase. If you forget your password, or if you want to enter the wallet with another device, you can restore your wallet with it. Before opening it, make sure that no one is watching your monitor and there are no cameras nearby. Then, write this phrase on a piece of paper and store it in a secure location. Or you can memorize it. For storing your seed phrase in any digital device or in the cloud, you can use such applications as 1Password or already trusted by your data encryption tools. Do not share this phrase with anyone. It can be used to steal all your funds. Click Next. Congratulations! You have created a new account in the Temple Wallet. Now you can use any funds on the Tezos network, interact with decentralized applications, choose a baker, and much more. To connect your wallet with a decentralized application on the Tezos network, you need to enter the application website, select Connect Wallet, then select Temple. After that, you will see a window where Temple will ask you to confirm the connection by clicking Connect. Now you can perform operations. Thank you for choosing the Temple Wallet. On our channel, you can find additional information on how to choose a baker in Tezos, as well as how to import your Tezos account from other wallets. Also, you can find more information in our communities, as well as in articles on our blog. So now that we have the Tezos wallet installed on the computer, now we're going to show you how to actually send money to the Tezos wallet, actually Tezos, and we're going to do that for free without spending any money out of pocket. And we do that with a simple site called simpleswap.io. Right here on SimpleSwap, you can simply choose which coin that you already have and which coin you want to swap it to. So in this example, I'm going to send Tron and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on 
T-R-O-N. We'll select Tron. And I'm going to need to get uh, Tezos. So we'll put Tezos in the second box, okay? Now, you'll notice that there is a minimum amount you must send. So that will be 180, uh, 179. It says it, is, it must be needed. 178.99. I'm going to round to 180. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Tezos wallet. And you're going to get your receiving address for Tezos simply by going right here. You click on receive. And you're going to copy your receiving address. You can click on copy right here. And you're going to go ahead and paste it into the link here. And then you'll press exchange. Okay. And then once you press exchange, you will see that it'll tell you exactly where to send the, the Tezos to. And then uh, once you send, I mean, where to send your Tron to, your first coin. And once you've sent your Tron to this first address, Simple Swap will confirm it's the right amount. It'll then exchange it for the coin you want. In this case, it'll be the Tezos. Then it's going to send it to your receiving address. In this case, will be my receiving wallet for the Tezos um, network on the Chimple wallet we just showed you a moment ago. All right. So I went ahead and I went over to my Tron Link wallet and I sent uh, Tezos to Simple Swap. And I apologize, the video was a, little, was a little delayed there. And it did go ahead and send the money to Simple Swap through my Tron Link wallet. I went here to Tron Link where I had my funds and I chose to send 180 of, of TRX from my Tron Link wallet. And that went straight over to the Simple Swap website. And then Simple Swap converts that to XTZ for me and then sends the XTZ to my Temple wallet. So here is my Temple wallet. And you'll see now that the 2.2 Tezos has arrived in my Temple wallet because I transferred the 180 TRX through the Simple Swap website and had that sent directly to my Tezos wallet. And now we have the wallet funded with no money out of pocket. Simple, simple way to use a simple swap website to fund the Tezos uh, wallet, a Temple wallet with Tezos. Now, if you don't have any Tron and you're not able to actually use uh, sending a current Tron or a BTC or Ethereum or some other cryptocurrency that you already have in your possession, you can simply buy Tezos um, if you choose to. And if you go over to coinmarketcap.com, in coin market cap, you can actually see all the details about Tezos or any other cryptocurrency for that matter. You can simply just um, type in right here in the search box any coin that you're looking for. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the details about that coin. You can see the current pricing. Um, you can get more detail about what the coin's about. And you can also see that if you click on market right here, you can see exactly what exchanges are allowing you to buy uh, this, this particular coin and the current amounts they're being sold for on each exchange. So CoinMarketCap is a great website to get all your details about the coin you're working with. Plus, on the website here, you can also see the conversion rate between different coins. So, for example, um, I just got to 2.22 Tezos, which is worth $16.93. And then looking up here at my Tezos wallet, you'll see that... Uh, I've got the $16 here in Tezos already received in the wallet, okay? Um, the There was a little bit of fee when it came from the um, the Simple Swap, swipe, Simple Swap site. And as you see, that little fee was very minimal because it was going to give me $16.93. And I wound up with owning $16.72. So the fee was very minimal there, okay? Um, also, if you are... Not seeing the Tezos wallet in your browser extension in Chrome when you first install that. It's a very quick fix. Two ways, two things you want to check on to make sure that the Temple wallet is displayed correctly in the Chrome browser. Simply go up here and click on the three dots. And then you're going to go down here and click on more tools. And then you're going to go to extensions. The most important thing is you want to locate the downloaded extension. In this case, it's Temple. And you can make sure this is turned on right here. So if we turn this off, you'll see that this will not allow us to see the temple extension. So we basically wanna make sure that's turned on. And then 
Another thing to point out is that if you do have this turned on, but yet you still don't see it lifted up here, it's because you don't have it actually pinned up here as a shortcut. So that's easy to fix just by clicking the little puzzle piece right here. You can work with your extensions, and you can then go ahead and decide which ones you want to pin to this little address bar right here, and which ones you want to unpin. So for example, if we unpin Temple, you see it disappears. We click on it again to pin it to the top. It reappears, and now it's a quick, easy shortcut to the Temple Wallet. So when you click on the icon right here, you simply just have to type in the password that you set up when you created your wallet, and you'll unlock it. And that will give you immediate access to the funds that you have inside your Temple Wallet. And once again, you receive icons right here. If you want to uh, check out any dApps, you can go through them right here. You can do swaps of other coins inside of this same wallet. So if you had Tezos and you want to get one of these other coins, you can use a swap function right here. Or if you want to send Tezos or another coin somewhere else, you click the send button so you can go ahead and start the process of sending those funds to a different wallet or smart contract. Uh, another thing I want to point out is when using the Simple Swap website, make sure that uh, you do not send your funds to a smart contract as your payout address. Whenever you're using the Simple Swap website, you're always sending your funds to a wallet first before you send those funds to any particular website um, or exchange um, that you plan on actually um, converting that money to or spending it for further resources for more of the profits. And then, of course, if you are not going to be using the Chrome browser, but you want to use a different browser instead, uh, you can simply just go to temple.com, and that will be right here. And you'll see more information about Temple uh, Wallet um, and everything that you can do with the Temple Wallet, um, including the FAQ section. And then once you're ready to install it, you just click, click on Install Now. And this will show you all the different browsers that you can use along with the Temple Wallet. And below this video, I will go ahead and leave a link for the Temple Wallet, also for the install video, along with links for SimpleSwap and CoinMarketCap as well. And I use all mine. Instead of using myself, instead of using Google Chrome, I use CryptoTab browser. And a CryptoTab runs just like Chrome, except it actually does um, allow you to mine Bitcoin um, automatically in the background of your computer. I'm just a simple new browser that runs like i said just like chrome but it actually downloads bitcoin so therefore i'm running bitcoin passively just by using this free uh, browser that uh, called crypto tab so i'll leave a link in the description for that one as well in case you wanted to go ahead and earn some free bitcoin passively as well so that's it ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you very much for watching the video go ahead and press the like button not to reach the end of the video i do appreciate you staying to the end Go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get added to my YouTube channel and get to see all the different videos I make about how to make passive income here in 2021. And of course, hit that bell icon to get notified when I come online with those new videos. And please, if you would, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of these videos. If you have any suggestions for further videos, I'll be glad to hear your suggestions and respond back to you as soon as possible. So that's Brian Frill showing you how to get Temple Wallet on, the, on your computer, on your web browser, and also get it funded with no money out of pocket. Brian Frost hunting out. It's 2021. Get the passive income. Good night.